Hello, this is Eddie Gemmell from Fitbit Shorts here at Rugby Park in Kilmarnock. Got another Kilmarnock ladies and they're playing Hearts today. They've got Ailey with me again and young Cameron. Hello. I'm going to ask you a wee bit uh, about Hearts themselves. They're the top of the league just now. Yeah. Good team. Yeah. How do, how do you think the team will perform against them? Uh, I think good. I think we'll bring it today. Uh, Hearts definitely the team to beat, like you said, top of the league. So uh, we just have to bring the intensity again today. Recently, we've, we're talking about kind of fixing starts. That seems to be happening with the Kamara ladies over the past few weeks. We had a great result against Dundee United. Terrific performance for the team. The following week, you get, you get beat. Then it was a draw against Glasgow the last time we were here. How does that affect you now, the next two games? I know there's two games left. What does that mean? Does that mean you're still challenging for the league or you're maybe challenged for the top three? Uh, definitely challenging for top three. I think we're out of the, the title run uh, for the rest of the season. So three games left. Um, <coughs> if we win all three games, we can end up third. And I think that's the, that's the ideal spot that we want to be in. Well, let's go and see this game. And it's hard to kick us off with this. Scottish Women's Premier League 2 game underway here at Rugby Park in Kilmarnock. And already it's a midfield battle to control the ball. Doherty, Robinson, back to Doherty. Cross in for Swanson, corner Kelly. Doherty hoots a shot and easily gathered by Mitch. It's a handball Fleming. Free kick to Hearts. There's Bali a rule to take. And Chung eventually clears the ball. Corner to Hearts. It's high into the goal area. It's well cut out by McGregor. Kenny, Smith, McGinley, it's a brought down by Neil. It's walking short, oh just over the bar. Another dangerous cross, cut out by McGregor. There's a foul on Smith by Doherty. And it's taken quickly by Hearts. And Doherty intercepts to Fleming. Monroe. Across deep into Hart's goal. Keeper fumbles. Falls to Swanson. Goal to Kilmarnock ladies. And here you see the cross. The Hart's keeper collides with Claire Doherty. The ball breaks loose. And Swanson tucks the ball into the keeper. 1-0 to Kilmarnock ladies. Evans to McGinley. The corner hearts. That's a poor corner to the front post. Smith shattered by Hattie. Good shot to take. Oh, and just scrapes the top of the bar. One to Hearts. Evans jinks past Chung. Has a shot. Goal Hearts! It's uh, deflected off Burrows. But the referee is uh, called over by the linesman. And it appears a goal is disallowed. Fleming. Neil. Poor pass for Harty. Cut out by Hearts, walking Shaw, lovely chip pass to McGinley, oh just wide of the upright. Doherty wide to Monroe. Doherty challenged by Dalworth. It's long for Evans. And Chung obstructing Evans. Free kick hearts. Rear really to take. Oh, and it's off the corner of the post with McGregor well beaten. 
And here we see such perfect technique for a free kick. Ball curls and dips onto the top of the bar. Hearts are starting to take control of the play midway through this first half. Smith brought down by Fleming. Yellow card. Hearts free kick. McGregor punches clear under pressure. And there goes a half-time whistle. And it's Kelly holding on to a slender 1-0 lead over league leaders' hearts. Uh, so, yes, yeah, so we're 1-0 up, so which is good. We hopefully can keep it going. But, you know, there was a wee mess up and they did score, but partly offside. So hopefully that's been captured and it is offside. But, yeah, so hopefully. But we're still in the game, you know. We've still got all to fight for until the second half. And you just go into saying it's no no that's no sheet, and just go in, shoot, guns are blazing again. ...to kick off the second half under the floodlights here at Rugby Park. Throw in Kelly, Swanson. Kenny trips Monroe, free kick Kelly. Free kick drops short, it's headed clear by Hearts. Wide to Smith. On William Pirouettes, Robinson, back to Smith. A deep cross, and just held on by McGregor on the line. The Kelly players are working hard, trying to break down this Hearts defence. Keeney, and it's a foul on Fleming. But it's just headed clear. Hearty, no power behind the shot. And Hearts are piling on the pressure for this equaliser. Smith. What a great save by McGregor. Corner to Hearts. Oh, Kenny miscues. Doherty blocks. It's Hearts on the break again. High deep cross. Doherty clearance. Blocked by Doherty. Falls to walking shot. Goal! Hearts! And it's one all. And it's Hearts sustained pressure on the Kelly defence. Eventually pays off with Walkinshaw rattling a shot past McGregor to make it one all. As you can see, Hearts are forcing Kelly on the back foot. Seeking that winning goal. Doherty cleverly turns her way out of trouble. Samson brought down by Delva. Free kick Kelly. Drops in the penalty area. And it's picked up by Much. It's Edwards. Dribbles past Doherty. Cut back to Walkinshaw. And once again, another fine save by McGregor. And Kelly eventually break free with Baird in the wing. And Samson fouled by Delworth. Free kick Kelly again. Terrific in swing, Dipper. Bravely smothered by Mitch. And once again, Swanson foul in a dangerous area. And it's way over the bar and into the stand. And there goes the final whistle with, with Kilmarnock 1 and Hearts 1. Goals by Sampson for Kilmarnock ladies and Walkinshaw for Hearts. Well, with the, the coaching staff with Kilmarnock ladies now, first half you missed it, I know you missed it, Stuart, earlier on, but the first 20 minutes I thought Kilmarnock were all over Hearts. Yeah. And then all of a sudden they come back into the game. Yeah, it's the first half we were I said to the girls at half time. Uh, I thought we were outstanding. Um, the football we played out from the back, we created some chances. We got a goal that we deserved. Uh, but the second half, we knew we were going to get tired. It's our fourth game in 12 days. So it's hard for part time footballers that have work and everything else. So they've done really well. We're really proud of them for the work they've put in today. And to get a point off a team like Hearts, who are so confident and flying towards probably winning the league uh, in the next couple of weeks. Um, we're really 
We're happy with, with what we got today. here. I was impressed with the defence, especially young lady. Burrows there yes. and the goalkeeper. And she had some great saves. First half, she had two good saves. <coughs> but in the last 20 minutes there, she really pulled us. Pulled yeah. the stops out. Yeah, Lauren, Lauren's so reliable for us. She's done that quite a few times she this season. Uh, yeah, um, she's she's dug us out, dug us out yeah. a hole like Thistle. A couple of weeks ago, she saved the penalty to keep the, the score at 1 0 and stuff. So It was tough there because I mean, hearts are up there. They're top of the league just now. Possibly winning it. <coughs> Possibly. Yeah. Possibly. Two, games to go, two big games. Two big games coming up. You've got two games coming up. Yep. Yep. What position would that leave you in if you picked up the points? Well, the, if we took, depending on other results, um, it's going to leave us in third or second, depending on how other results go. Um, we just don't know. So we'll, have to, we'll go in with it. Same mentality we've had all season is to win next game. So that'll be uh, part of Thistle away next week, which tough game. They've picked up three more points a day, and right now it's between us and them for, for third spot. So just need to go in, the same mentality mentality that I've seen for the second half today and, uh, and hopefully we can take three points from that. Well, I was the player of the match today at Amy Burroughs. Cracking game, I mean, I was, I was at the back of the goals there, I was watching you and uh, between you and the goalkeeper I thought, you know, two of you were outstanding, I thought you were outstanding. Oh, thank you. Thank yeah. You. Yeah. I think in the first half there, maybe talk us through a couple of the tackles that you made, quite quite crucial tackles to stop the the, the hearts forward getting in. Yeah, definitely. They're a strong, they're a strong team. You know, they've got some strong forwards and stuff. So you just have to do it. Yeah. yeah. Have second to half there was a lot. The there was a lot of pressure in the second half there, definitely. wasn't it? Definitely. Yeah. You don't expect it. Obviously, Hearts are they're top of the league at the moment, so we're one 0 up at half time. So you expect them to come into the game second half, and they did that. But I thought we handled it well. Obviously, we let them one goal, but that was really that was really all the chances they had. So I think we done well. We defended really well. And played good as a team. I was impressed with the goalkeeper. Oh, definitely, yeah. She's had an outstanding season. She really has yeah. um, some crucial saves basically <coughs> every game, but she played outstanding tonight. You're going to be awarded the, the player of the match. Thank There's you a nice bottle of champagne thank for you. you. Very and much I'd like to give that. you your, your trophy. Oh, thank you very much and for enjoy that. Enjoy your champagne. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See Thanks. you later. See you. Well, Miss Ray, Rebecca Galt, who's a stalwart with us over the past year to two years, I think, with Fitbit Shorts. That's been a bit of a Yeah, we've been, <laughs> <laughs> been following you that much yeah. over the past couple of weeks. <laughs> we've no time to get you in behind the camera anymore. No, I'm missing <laughs> it. You're yeah. missing it. But the thing is, it's just to find out, Rebecca, a wee bit more about the ladies' game, mm -hmm. you know, what it's like. And, you know, I've been in a men's events dressing room, you know, yeah. I know what it's like in there, but is it kind of similar, do you think? Do you? Well, obviously, I haven't been in a men's, so I can't really compare, obviously, but yeah, like, it's the same, there's, there's patter, there's everyone's having a laugh, you know, it's just getting psyched up, the music's playing, and, you know, and it's just, it's just getting you psyched up for the game, and everyone's shouting, everyone's singing, it's just having a laugh, you know, and especially the big games like this, you know, like Hearts and stuff, like, you need to get that psyched up, you can't have, like, a dull changing room when everyone's just sitting, sometimes, I, I like, me personally, I like sometimes to sit in my own mind, because I'm trying to prep myself, yeah. you know, you need to get in that mentality, but again, like, having the lasses in there are great, like, they're all, they're all full of energy, they're all full of, you know, just, Having a good time, you know, and they yeah. come out here. And yeah, come well, we dance. saw that in the pitch. We could see they were they were they were full of energy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We saw that in the, the pitch. Mm -hmm. the, the drive today against Hearts I mean, it's a hard mm -hmm. hard team to play against. Yeah. You were home, obviously, but you got a good goal to kind of kick off with in the first 15 minutes. Yeah. It kind of settled you down a wee mm -hmm. bit. I think we came out more fighting to begin with. I think we knew this was going to be a big game. As I said to Tommy at half time, like it was going to be, it's going to be tough. And you know, like, the last few games, we have had like these games one after the other, and you know, last is. It's, it's tiring, like even uh, professionals would even struggle with this, you know what I mean? So it is coming out here and you just need to give it your all. It's all or nothing really when it comes to football sometimes and you know, and I think the lasses have came out and have shown that they're capable, like they should be up the top, they should be playing with like, as Stuart and that was seen earlier, they should be playing with professionals because there's some talent in this team and they don't get the recognition they deserve. Well, uh, this is Eddie Gemmell at uh, Rugby Park and it's been, a, I think, the past couple of games that we've been watching, I'm really impressed. You yeah, know, my yeah. football friends and pals yeah. that I, I bump into and talk to, I'm trying to encourage them to come out and see these games because I'm really astounded by the quality and uh, I think it bodes well for the Scottish ladies football yeah. senior yeah. team in the yeah. future. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So it was a great game, I thought. A very, it was a hard-fought game. Mm -hmm. Again, two teams who are probably almost equal together. Uh, and that just be, it bears, bodes well for the next season for you guys oh, yeah. mm -hmm. you know if you're coming up against the Hearts and the, the Hamiltons mm -hmm. of this world next season yeah so from Eddie Gemmell I'm going to encourage all you young lady footballers <laughs> to get yourself into Rugby Park or <laughs> up here to Kelly Ladies and get yourself involved in the football because 
it's a great way of getting out and about. It's the same with the film crew we have here. Uh, we, we've got a whole bunch of volunteers that come out and film all the games that we go out and do, mm -hmm. and they learn all the new skills uh, and it's real work experience. Yeah, it is. So from Eddie Gemmel here, Rebecca and young Cameron, and all the crew, Aidan, Tommy over there, see you next time. Get the shot!